So we've decided to hitch a lift with Phil from Boss ORV. We are currently sat in the Corvus, and you've got to remind me what it is, Phil, because we've got a sign on the front, but you need to ignore the sign. What model are we in? So we are sat in the Terrain DX4 cab version. And we're not exactly small lads, but there's a lot of room in here. Big USP, there's plenty of room, even for us. So looking in front of us, it is your, your typical 4x4 off-road there. Similar to your other well-known brands, but this just seems to come in at a much, one, much better price point. It's got more features in it. The only thing that I've not seen is a USB, but you've told me what's happening with that going forward. It, this is the first time I've ever seen it in the flesh, and I'm actually genuinely impressed with it. Um, what are the main features that you could tell me about it? So, Corvus uh, started manufacturing these in 2017. It's the first utility vehicle of its type that's been yeah. designed and manufactured in Europe. So that's a, the break from the usual convention of American or Chinese yeah. manufacturers or Japanese. So, as you say, one of the big USPs is that look at the space we've got. I, you know? There's literally, I, I, I can stretch out. Like you, you don't get that with with traditional farmers. Well, as as most farmers will tell you, there's room for the dog down there. Yes, yeah, actually, yeah. I, and a small lamb as well, probably. Indeed. Well, definitely. Yeah. So we're not got like a Kawasaki engine in there or a Yamaha engine. You've gone with the Yanmar brand. Yes, Yanmar, in our opinion, is the best diesel engine that's out there. So it was a, it was a no-brainer to choose Yanmar. Plus, there is a long-standing relationship with the parent company of Corvus with the Yanmar. Yeah. Uh, organization so again it was a uh, it was um, a marriage of convenience and also Corvus this this range of Corvus UTVs are branded and marketed as Jan Ma in the North American market so ah. there, there's another connection for you so this is the 1000 uh, diesel engine 24 horsepower um, so we're, we're, and we're obviously confusing people because we've sat with the EX yes, sign the on the front uh, because this machine is also available uh, as an electric version. So it looks the same, it just doesn't sound the same. Yeah, sounds a lot quieter, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Now you've got a speedo over there. Is it a speedo? Yeah, the speedometer. It's a it's a T1B tractor, so it will go up to 65 kph, so 40, just over 40 miles an hour. So with it being that, like, it's fully road legal as well, isn't fully it? Fully road legal. Um, from from uh, factory build, so you don't have to fit any additional road light kits. You don't have to register it as limited use. It's yeah. fully road legal as a as I said T1B tractor. You've got high and low range uh, to control the speed. Normal foot throttle. You have switchable two and four wheel drive and a rear diff lock. And the diff locks as well. Yeah. And this particular model, this is the cab model. So this is the one below the top of the range come standard with doors yeah. and a heater. I know the heater was a big thing that I noticed as soon as it got yeah. in, because we've got vents down here for your legs, vents up here, and then you've also got the adjustable window on the front. Yeah, so the tip out screen is an, is an extra. It's not standard on the cab model, yeah. but it, it is available on most models as an extra. So the only model above this is the climber, which features air conditioning. Ooh. Uh, Haven't I'm, sold one in this country yet, but. Uh, wait, well, the summer we've just had. a few in Spain. Yeah, definitely. I like the fact that it's European made as well. It's it's a big feature, you know. It it's it's nice to be able to sell something that's built closer to home. Yeah. Also, the knock-on effect of that was that we didn't have any supply issues during oh, the recent yes. uh, challenges that everyone else seems to have, and we're still not having any supply issues. So, if anyone wants one, they can get one within a couple of weeks. So we've got quite the bed on the back of it. Um, you can definitely get back, what, a bag of wood chip in there, what, about yeah. 300 kilos? Yeah, uh, 450 kilos and it will take a full size pallet as well on there, which again is is unusual for the industry. What size tyres do we have fitted? So we got, we're on 14 inch rims, which again is, is a little different than everyone else, they tend to use 12 inch, but 14s make it a much better ride, help with the ground clearance, so all round it's a better choice. Because okay. the ground clearance on it, You've Ground clearance is massive. Vehicle. Can you get a hitch fitted as well? For yeah, solid. hitches are standard. Uh, you can. What what we get here, we get the hitch receiver. Yeah. Because in mainland Europe they don't tow as much, so they tend to fit the ball in there. So we we spec the hitch receiver so that you can specify the length of board, board that you want. Yeah. So it's a lot easier because if you're trying to get a trailer off in there, it's quite tight. So you, yeah. we have it out here. Brilliant. If anyone's interested, how can I get in touch with you, Phil? So. 
you can contact us. Um, the contact details are on our website, bossorv.co.uk, or they can send us an email to sales at bossorv.co.uk. Phil, thanks for introducing me to the Corvus range. Pleasure.